Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting the mighty Bathory. The return, thanks to Jason Andrews for hooking this up. It's an original combat pressing. I don't care that the covers beat the fuck. The music plays perfectly. And it's one of my, actually my second favorite Bathory record. Under the sign of the black mark. Absolutely hands down the best but I love the return it's so fucking good but today speaking of like you know kind of blackened thrash I want to talk about this release through 20 bucks spin and head split records by Deiva it says pulsing dark absorptions this features members of Philadelphia's Crip Sermon Unrest and fucking Trench Rock 20 Bucks Spin did the vinyl and all that, and Head Split did the cassette. This is blackened thrash metal done so fucking good. Like, imagine Cronus from Venom on steroids, on vocals, with some of the best riffs. This side of Midnight in the black thrash realms of extreme music. Because Daiva, Pulsing Dark Absorptions, this little mini LP, EP, whatever you want to call it, is absolute pure fucking hellfire. Especially when it comes to their Death Crush cover. Originally done by Mayhem, this is not a cover song just to cover it. They really, really made fucking Death Crush sound like their own song like it's so on the money it's just ridiculous like yeah they make it their own like vocally be because like I said this sounds like Cronus on steroids vocally and it's badass like you might say well you know you have Midnight and yeah to me that might be the closest band to Daiva that exists but where Midnight's more on the rock and roll side of things, this is on the thrashy side of things. But also, you can call it, like, there's parts on here that straight up sound like, you know, black and roll riffs and whatnot. But mostly, it's fucking black and thrash, and it's done so goddamn well. I fucking love this stuff, and I love even more of this. Daiva gives zero thanks or acknowledgement. Fuck off! <laughs> That's awesome. But, uh, just like some awesome lyrics as well. And, like, I, I can't get over how good the Death Crush cover is on here. Like, but, uh, like, no effective banishings, quenched fist of the beast, pulsing dark reabsorption. Descending of the Miasmal Void, and then Death Crush. And you just have some gnarly, gnarly lyrics, like, very, very well thought out, and just, you know, evil, and just sick, like, in the witching hour, feel the tightening of your chest, and the clouds fill your mind, peer into darkness, clutch your crucifix, and call on to him. Jesus Christ and ask him to come down and change the circumstances vent frustrations pound on me face God's ignorance head on deep in the den of lions sweat out alcohol in defeat find more within me I am the witch in the walls sick stuff necrotic anger unleashed this is so fucking good Seriously, if you're a fan of black thrash, thrash metal in general, Venom especially, oh my god, and Midnight, I can't forget Midnight, you are going to love, love, love Pulsing Dark Absorptions, it's just so fucking perfect for what it is, and you just are left again just wanting more, as much as I love mini LPs, I've made a video about it, how the only downfall is you're left seriously with like your dick in your hand, like, fuck, 
I want more! And then you end up just rewinding the tape or flipping the vinyl or whatever. But this right here, I can't stop listening to it. Like, it's just so fucking catchy sounding, but at the same time, I'm like squeezing Invisible Fruit, and it's just a great, great fucking fun listen. But if you're a fan of Midnight, you're, uh, you're gonna fucking love this. It's the only band I can think of, besides like Venom, that this really stands out, like kind of sounding like, alongside probably Sodom, riff wise so take like Cronus's vocal delivery add in you know that style of like riffing and whatnot from Sodom on like a thrash level and then just add the black metal element on top of that just kind of original proto black metal thrashy first wave holy fuck like this this is amazing Putting this, you know, back to back with like Bathory the Return, or I actually listened to this, then put on Midnight's No Mercy for Mayhem, followed by Venom Welcome to Hell, which um, I don't physically own anymore, so I just threw it on YouTube. And out of all of those releases, the Daiva little mini LP here. EP, whatever the fuck you want to call it. To me, this came out on top. Like, as much as I love Midnight and, like, just enjoy their music, like, I, I get it. It's fun. It's tongue in cheek, you know? It's not really 100% serious where Pulsing Dark Absorptions sounds 100 fucking percent serious and just has this sinister fucking, like, sound to it that I fucking love. Like, as kind of, you know, like, on the borderlines of gnarly, goofy, and just, you know, straight on the money when it comes to that black thrash 80s sound, which I feel this is directly on the money. It just all kind of depends on how your ear for that first wave of proto-black metal is because... This should be called, uh, fucking pulsing dark riffage from the 80s. Because that's what this really is. And you have, sorry, Ed Gannett on vocals, Steve Jansen on guitars and bass, and Justin Bean on drums. Who also does drums in trench rot. There we go. I knew it was, it was something like that. But, uh, Steve Jansen... His guitar riffing is just fucking wow. Like I was saying, like, look at the traditional doom of Crypt Sermon. Look at the bolt thrower worship of Trench Rot. And now look at this love letter to, I'm gonna say Venom, just off the top of my head, with Daiva pulsing dark absorptions. It goes to show me that Steve Jansen and company can do whatever the fuck they want and it's going to be top fucking notch and definitely worth your time seriously every project these guys do just kicks fucking ass like from their grindcore project unrest which it's only review and decibel it got a nine and it just said fuck yeah like and that's what led me to buy that album not even knowing that like Brooks Wilson, Steve Jansen, and my boy Chris from Woe are in that project. I had no idea until I got it and opened it up and I was like, holy shit, Chris is in this band, Steve's in this band, Brooks is in this band, fuck yeah. And it's a great, you know, Philly, Brooklyn Connect record. And this is just fucking so goddamn good. This could have came out in 1985, and you would still be listening to it here in 2018. That's really the best way to describe uh, Pulsing Dark Absorptions. It's just that it's a timeless release that just came out. 
Like, I know that makes, like, zero sense, but seriously, you're going to be listening to this and hopefully their full length in 2018. I have my fingers crossed, but hopefully we can, you know, get a full length out of this uh, band because it's going to be fucking amazing if it's anything like this EP because this is so goddamn fucking good. I just... I love it. Side pulsing, side darkness, just total fucking amazing tunes. I love it and cannot recommend it enough. And uh, we've been blasting Bathory The Return on Combat Records. It's an original pressing, so I apologize if it's crackled or anything, but it hasn't because Jason Andrews is the fucking man. He hooked up a pretty much pristine copy of The Return. Said, hey, do you mind if the cover's a little beat up? I was like, fuck no. Like, the record plays? And he's like, yeah. So, yeah, I got a copy of The Return by Bathory. And that's why I threw Bathory on to talk about Daiva. Because Pulsing Dark Absorptions, it kind of reminded me of Bathory but more so of Venom when it comes to the vocal delivery because Steve Jansen, when it comes to the riffs, man, he's on another level of black thrash and just evil-sounding, yet fun, 80s-style thrash metal riffage. Awesome stuff here on 20 Bucks Spin and Head Split Records, who did the tape here. And you have Side Pulsing and you have Side Darkness. Five tracks of total old school goodness. This is a fucking gem if you have not heard this yet. Wow. I mean, this is so fucking good. And I have a question real quick. There's been a lot of talk recently about, you know, people stealing other people's artwork and stuff. And it's kind of weird and stuff. And I didn't really think too much of it. Until I was looking at this artwork, and then I got this from a friend of mine, which I reviewed a couple days ago. This is that uh, Vasifer Malediction LP. It's just like, okay. I know it's completely different, but at the same time, it's kind of a little bit, I don't know. A little too similar. But that doesn't take away from the tunes. Because I'm pretty sure that uh, Daiva definitely destroy Vasifer when it comes to just sound. And when it comes to complete and utter amazing quality here. Like the sound's great. The songs are amazingly written. This is just a fucking A+, 10 out of 10 little mini LP. My only gripe with it is it's over before it begins, pretty much. But it ends with that Mayhem cover of Death Crush, which is fucking amazing. But, like, Quenched Fist of the Beast is probably my favorite original track on here. Amazing stuff. Pick up the vinyl through 20 bucks spin. The tape through Head Split Records, and you will not be disappointed by Diva's Pulsing Dark Absorption. So fucking sick. Black Thrash for fans of fucking Black Thrash. And we've been blasting Bathory The Return on Combat Records. Thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hails. <laughs>